I have journeyed nights waiting for pizza, as traveled women staggered through the door, wearing dresses that cling to voyaged skin, with pout lips and wide crystal-eyed cliches, bordered by stunted locks and bouncing hips. All have pizza parlor queen confidence, with perfume mixing with mozzarella, while chatting about men and their boredom, wearing optimistic pizza smiles, grabbing slices and devouring pie. Some carry droplets of perspiration trickling down their maturing forehead, hearing their parents say, follow your dreams, then say, you're not getting any younger, then chastise them for taking quirky risk. Some mock the earnestness of diatribe, spoken by men of doubts and frustrations, pouring cliches like projectile vomit while sleepwalking through their daily routine, ejaculating bits bits of pizza. The repetitive actions frighten me, seeing life as a rehearsed performance, in a breath of wind, smelling like pizza, not dismissed with jokes or change of subjects, while wiping my pizza mouth by echo. Most shoot their flaming mouths about nothing, spouting blazing ridiculous nonsense, no one challenges outrageous statements with their wound up and puzzled expressions from big talkers about sports and vigor. The crowd forms their circular pools of light, fixed with lasting small talk in their pockets, drowning in footing of disappointment when the quiet nights are interrupted by music blaring and noisy humans. Mechanical mouths feel the vibrations, breathing erratically at pizza lives, swirling all magical tongues up and down, caressing, then controlling like climax, a substitute for sex and orgasms. No one listens to the sounds of voices, for no one values what they are saying, when its cliches lead me farther away, forming me as a secluded prisoner as pizza seduces without struggle. All these formula women torture me, forcing me to conceal all my secrets, in short gasp, concentrating on my breath, against lips not ignoring sweet torture, unyielding and knowing my surrender. Pizza mouths lap up everything they can, rewarding fast, then deep, in its circles, where my tongue shakes its sexual organ, rising higher than pickup confidence, recalibrating itself in cowards. Manish stories lay prone on blazing beds, with intense hips gyrating and grinding, while not ashamed of passionate bragging that lies out of the corner of their eyes, telling tales of dexterity and skill. Feminine stories press down on their breast through those women who lack inhibitions, screaming and cursing about bad boy men, then chatting about their orgasmic hums, carrying her to nirvana, then back. Some live to expose their gorgeous smile to men who speak at appropriate times, transferring cliches in brainless questions while sharing friendly pizza space and time. One ruthless for bed, one pushy for meals. Some live countertop vodka and vermouth, forcing hunger driven by cheese-baked dough, 
while finding men to tell her she is thin. For her men are eunuchs of compassion, as falsehoods fly into their drunken mouths. My mouth snaps back to pizza women flavor as its taste flutters around my faint lips, reminding me of frantic fallen nights, unfolding crumbled porno and fabric when fraught sexual damage is too great. My mouth entrance succumbs to the pizza through the corridors of my DNA, looking forward and back at customers, realizing we are pizza cross sections of ugly creatures called humanity. We spiral through what offers no solace to gutted pillows, then preconceptions, through pizza radiating, then shedding, with drawn out excuses for failed lovers, drinking botched orgasms and bad coffee. Some like antidepressants with vodka, when its pizza exists like a corkscrew, as we search geography of our dreams, from cracks in breaking glass to pizza joints, where quasi-cognizant motion is life. My logic within chaotic systems reaches for cliches of female pizza. In those dead and waiting to be reborn, my pizza nightcaps stretch through space and time, lost in passionate pizza apathy.